This unit will help you gain an understanding of the processes and tasks that enable intelligence gathering or environmental reconnaissance. Understand how environmental variables affect security. And understand the functions of some popular security tools. The following exam domain objective is covered here. In order to protect data and infrastructure, cybersecurity analysts need to understand the internal and external environment within which information systems operate. Gathering information about the environment is known as environmental reconnaissance, or intelligence gathering. Hackers investigate and map networks while planning an attack in order to gauge their chances of success. A cybersecurity analyst needs to probe his network in the same way, using the methods and tools a hacker would. This approach enables analysts to detect vulnerabilities and assess the overall security level of the network. Topology discovery is a process that involves identifying each and every device on the organizational network, mapping their links with one another, and the IP addressing plan. If a hacker were able to gain access to this information and draw up a map of the network, data confidentiality and integrity would be a risk. It follows, then, that a cybersecurity analyst needs to outline methods to ensure that topology discovery would be highly difficult for a hacker. Later on, we'll discuss ways that you can find out whether it would be possible for a hacker to map your network. OS, or Operating System Fingerprinting, is a technique used to find out which operating system runs on a particular device. Once a hacker knows which OS is running on a device, he can use means that would work with that particular operating system. There are two types of OS fingerprinting processes, passive and active. A passive OS fingerprinter is an observer, not a participant, within network traffic. He does not communicate with the target device. This process entails analyzing packets sent by the host and determining the operating system. This technique tends to be less accurate than active fingerprinting. The active OS fingerprinting method involves issuing different commands from a remote machine to a target device and analyzing the responses from that device to ascertain the operating system and version. Active fingerprinting can produce more accurate results and take less time. It's important to note that active fingerprinting tools include Nmap. Just as operating systems can be vulnerable to attack, so can the different services that run on network devices. An attacker can discover which services the target system runs and then scan the security gaps in those services. Service discovery is a process used to determine which services are running on a particular host. Security analysts often resort to port scans to identify listening ports which are also known as open ports. Services with open ports can be secured by using appropriate security patches. You need to ensure that all such services have the necessary patches. Closing listening ports that are not required can also help minimize vulnerability. Capturing a data packet while it's being transmitted over a network is known as packet capture. Hackers use this technique to help themselves to somebody else's data. Security analysts capture data in order to pinpoint vulnerabilities and locate the precise point of interception. This is a form of reverse engineering that shows a hacker's potential path. A log review enables an analyst to analyze all activity on the network and consequently discern normal behavior patterns. Based on understanding what actual activity looks like, analysts can then detect signs of malicious intent. Performing daily log reviews and generating log reports can help security professionals detect threats and data breaches and take immediate steps to fix vulnerabilities and remediate incidents. Be aware that some attackers will actually remove log entries that show their access to cover their tracks. Routers forward data packets from one network to another. These devices connect at least two networks. Routers can be configured to filter both incoming and outgoing traffic on the basis of senders and receivers addresses. This configuration is stored in routing tables. Routers are critical networking devices. A firewall is a network security application that monitors and controls traffic flowing to and from a network. Because a firewall is capable of blocking unauthorized access, it is able to protect the network from an unsecured zone. Reviewing routing tables and firewall access list configurations is an important security function. 
Analysts should periodically review whether permissions and denials are adequate and in compliance with security policy, and whether both the router and firewall are operating in optimum condition. Based on review, security analysts are able to provide recommendations for enhancing protection. Gathering email addresses in bulk is known as email harvesting. Spammers use email harvesting to obtain email addresses in large quantities. Harvesting software known as farmers or harvesting bots are used to collect those email addresses. Malware developers and distributors often spread malware through spam email. Cyber criminals frequently use bulk emails to infect target systems with ransomware and financial malware. Using an email harvesting method enables a security analyst to detect whether systems on the network are compromised. Today, there's an enormous amount of information available online, with social media contributing to sizable chunk. Many employees are very active on social media, sometimes inadvertently sharing classified information. This can pose a security risk. Content shared on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media can be viewed by many people, including hackers. Social media profiling enables security analysts to keep track of the information that employees share on their social media accounts. They often employ the same methods hackers use to profile target accounts. Security analysts need to train personnel in the judicious use of social media. Every organization should issue clear stipulations regarding what can and cannot be shared on social media. Another threat to organizational security is social engineering. An outside source attempting to coerce an employee to reveal sensitive or protected internal information is an example of social engineering. An employee can be tricked into divulging sensitive information over the phone, in person, via email, or on social media. Security analysts need to build employee awareness about the hazards of social engineering and train them not to share user credentials. So remember the Don't Talk to Strangers film in elementary school? Yeah, think of this as the grown-up version of that. <laughs>